everybody, I'm Richard and welcome back to Richard in the Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a great hot dog, so I'm told, Chicago style hot dog. From what I understand, these dogs are absolutely fantastic. I've never had one of them, but I started looking into it, thought I'd do a video on it. And what I found is it's very unique and everybody says it's easy to do and so delicious. So let's get started. Chicago style hot dog, it dates back way back during the depression years. It's unique in that its ingredients are made in such a way and even the placement of those toppings on your dog is what makes the difference to, with this hot dog. Now the thing is, if you like ketchup on your hot dog, you probably won't like this because evidently you mentioned the word ketchup on a hot dog in Chicago and that's a cardinal sin. So I tell you what, Let's go over these ingredients and we'll talk about them a little bit. As far as the ingredients, let me mention first, many of these ingredients you will not find in your local grocery store. You're going to have to get them online. Or unless you're lucky enough to find someone locally that has these ingredients. I was lucky enough, I called around, I found a little hot dog stand outside Lowe's in Richardson, Texas called TJ's Doghouse. Talked to TJ for about 15-20 minutes. That is a great place. I tell you what, I intend to go back there and have some of his his hot dogs and his makings there. But I tell you what, he was uh, nice enough to provide me with the special pickle relish. It's uh, also from the Vienna Sausage Company. Notice how green that is, how neon green that is. Apparently that's what makes the Chicago style dog a little different as well. Also unique to this hot dog is poppy seed buns, which I couldn't find anywhere. So I bought me some hot dog buns and put my own poppy seeds on there. The Frankfurters from Vienna Sausage Company, they're all beef. I also got them from TJ. Also to go on this uh, hot dog are two sport peppers. Can't find them anywhere. TJ was nice enough to give those to me. You're gonna need a kosher dill uh, pickle spear, a tomato for the wedges, a dahlia sweet onion for the onion on the hot dog and something everybody talks about that makes this thing just the greatest is the final ingredient celery salt so with all that said let's get started on making our dogs first after your steamer starts to steam we're going to put our frankfurters in the steamer and let them steam for about five minutes this is the preferred method to heat your frankfurters our frankfurters have been in the steam for about five minutes. Next, we want to warm and soften our poppy seed bun. So we set them, uh, the bun in on top of the dogs for one minute. After one minute, remove your poppy seed bun. Man, that's warm. That sure is soft. And your frankfurters and set them down. Now, at this time, we can start assembling our dog, guys. Okay. Man, that bun is warm and softened up. So we take our dog, our frankfurter, and stick it in the bun. Like so. Now it's real important that you assemble this dog in this order. First, we're going to use just regular old American yellow mustard. Next, Our neon green man I can't get over how green that is sweet relish and I misspoke earlier I said Vienna sausage company is actually Vienna beef company but like I said that's the second that goes on this dog then we'll sprinkle some diced Vidalia also known as sweet onions on our dog as much as you like. Next we're going to take our tomato wedges and we're just going to wedge them right down in there. Next comes the kosher dill pickle slice and we're going to set that on the other side. Man, don't that look good? Oh wow. Okay, now our sport peppers. Two of them. Not three, not four, not one, two. And finally, the celery salt, just a dash 
sprinkled over the dog. And there you go, guys. Chicago style hot dog. So let's give this a taste. <laughs> Can y'all see that? Ain't that pretty? Let's just dive into this thing here. Oh my god. <laughs> I think that's the tastiest hot dog I've ever had. All those flavors just burst in your mouth. Man, let's go in for one more. Mm mm mm. That's fantastic. Give this a try, guys. And let me give one more shout out to TJ at TJ Dogs D A W G House in Richardson, Texas. I'll provide a link uh, and his email address. You ought to check him out sometime. I met him today. He's a really nice guy. I hope y'all give this a try. Like I said, getting some of the ingredients might be a little task, but I'm sure TJ will help you out if you just call him and set up a time when you can come down and see him. All right, guys, till next time, be nice to everybody. I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye.